Army Field. The USA lacrosse. It's actually the Brogdon Cup. We got Team USA, the U18 men's team, taking on Team Ontario, the U18 team. Two teams squared off yesterday in the last game of the day. And it was a thriller. The U.S. needed four goals in the last two minutes to tie it, and they would go on to win it. The goal late in the game, and a nice save to start things off by the lefty right there, Alex Zaborowski. Well, the U.S. gets it back on the restart, the pass. It's gonna be a very competitive game. These two teams, and there's a nice takeaway check by Nicholas Crowley. This is going to be arguably one of the best games I think we've seen all day. As these two teams really have had a battle early on just yesterday. And the U.S. had to fight and claw their way back into it to walk away with victors. And if they lost, it would have been the first time ever in Brogdon Cup history that Team USA, U18 team, boys, girls, U16, whatever level, it would have been the first time the U.S. had ever lost in this cup. And the shot by Dudamain will go wide. The backup is there for Team Can to, for Team Ontario as they get possession. They're attacking. They dish it off. It's Palmer. Palmer had a goal in the previous game. It's with Collison. Collison, Johns Hopkins commit, had two goals in the previous game. He's attacking, Collison being pushed. Collison, he's still got it, Collison shoots. The shot will be denied right there. Evan Sharp, I believe, is getting the start in this one. It is Evan Sharp. Sharp, the Jacksonville commit, getting the start in this one. It's with Dudamain. Dudamain coming up top side. Dudamain off to Collison. To Palmer. Back up top to Collison. Collison back to Palmer. Back low. This is Thompson. Thompson dishing off of the pass. Couldn't get there. Sharp coming out to try and make a play on it. And it will be corralled in by Alex Russo. But instead, it's going to be Tate Seaman picking it up. Seaman getting it. U.S. pushing in transition. This is Carter Kempney who has it. He's going to pull it out. He'll get it to Colin Rovier, who's subbing in. He'll dish it off to Aiden Aiken. To get it back to Aiken. He'll get it to Rovier. He shoots, and that one goes wide. U.S. will keep possession on the restart right here. This is Zach White. White looking to attack. He's got a step. White to Mark Cheng. Cheng dodging. Cheng down the alley. Cheng attacking. Cheng feeding. Dodge again. This is Brody Coleman. Coleman rolls back. Coleman shoots it. Coleman scores! First goal of the game comes from Brody Coleman. The Yale commit scores and puts the U.S. up one to nothing early. Coleman. The Casanova native became the first ever eighth grader to play varsity high school lacrosse. And he scores right there and puts USA up one to nothing. And face off. Ooh, and a big hit right there. Jars the ball free, and Team Ontario is pushing on the break. That one's going to get pulled out by Zavitz. 
Eaton Zavitz, who played for the U16 team, also playing up right now with the U18 team. This is with Jackman. Jackman's pass deflected. It'll trickle around. Here comes Jackman again. Jackman on the dodge. Jackman rolling back. Defenders are all over him, but no flag. So it's going the other way. Great defense right there, causing the turnover. Here comes the U.S. They'll dish it off. The pass won't go anywhere, and it's going to be scooped up. Coming out of the box right there. Here comes Ontario on the break, and the shot hits off the pipe. Alex Russo has his shot ring off the pipe. Here comes Palmer. Palmer shoots, and that one goes wide. And the race to the end line will be won by Team Ontario and William McLeod. Getting it back to X. They get it to Collison. Collison, the four-star Johns Hopkins commit, is attacking up from X. Collison has the shorty. His shot goes wide. And on the restart, it's going to start with Russo. So already has a goal in this one. Russo attacking. Russo dishes off. Ball still free. It's going to be picked up and look to clear right here. And the nice outlet pass by Sharp. And the U.S. has transition if they want to push it. And the deep shot will go hide. And the back up there by Colin Campbell. Campbell had three goals yesterday versus Ontario. Get it on the wing. Up top, here comes the dodge. And back. This is Cheng. Cheng attacking. Cheng goes right down the middle, and Cheng scores! Mark Cheng! The California native scores the second goal of the game and puts the U.S. up 2-0. Jang, the Air Force commit with the big goal right there. Jang actually scored the first goal as part of that USA run late in the game yesterday to help them get the victory. And the US will win the face off and they'll look to try and push and attack again. They'll get it up top, get things settled in as they get their offensive players on. And that's Jabril Bell Walker. As he sends it down. And yeah, nice play. Bell Walker looking to chase in and know it's going to be picked up by Colin Campbell. And a whistle. It's going to be with Team Ontario. They're looking to clear. Pass goes just out of the arms. The pull and Ontario still trying to clear. They're working it backwards. This is Cole Begley. Begley got to try and get it over. His pass won't get there. And instead, it somehow will trickle into a Team Ontario player's stick for a second, but it does not anymore. As we get a pull, Tate Seaman has it. Seaman dishes it off. We're starting to see that physical play start to creep in. They'll get it to Bell Walker, who subbed in. Here comes the dodge. The redodge coming, and the shot. Seems like a pace of it was stopped right there by Zaborowski. Five minutes to go in this first half. Two, two nothing USA leads. 
And it's going to be with Colin Campbell on the restart. Campbell gets it back up top. And that shot rings off the pipe by Rovier. And it's going to go out of bounds off Team USA. So it's going to be Team Ontario possession. And here comes Chris Harlan. Harlan, he's pushing. Chris Harlan, no one can deny him. And Harlan's shot goes wide. But Russo there for the backup and will keep possession. Russo gets it on the wing to Palmer. Palmer getting the ball movement. It's now back up top. It's with Jackman. Jackman will roll it over to Collison. Collison dishes it off to Finley Thompson. Thompson had two goals in the last one. Thompson down. He rolls back. Thompson keeps on rolling. Gets it to Jackman. Jackman might have a step. Jackman coming top side. Jackman trying to create a shot. Jackman, the twister doesn't go in. Ball's still free. Palmer will pick it up. Gonna be with Collison again. Collison spinning, rolling. Collison has his defender beat. Collison feeds, cross field, there's the goal! Team Ontario strikes, and it's William McLeod with the goal. Makes it a one goal game. Off the dodge from Collison, it creates the shot opportunity for McLeod. As he just quickly catches and fires that one. McLeod, the Robert Morris commit scoring right there. And the face-off won by Team USA for a second, and that's popped out. That was Matthew Baracco, who scored the game-winning goal yesterday for Team USA. And now it's with Keaton Zavitz right here. Zavitz will get it to Palmer. Palmer dodging. Um, we'll, we'll get it to Rolini. Rolini dodging. He rolls. Has his defender down. Another opportunity. The feed in. The attackman there. An opportunity. The shot can't get on cage. Sharp comes down with it. Sharp rolls it back out. The deep clear pass. That will go off a defender's stick. Who will come down with it? It will be Team USA. They'll get it back up top. Under 90 seconds to go. To the cross of Aiden Aiken. Aiken dishes it off to Jewel. Jewel gets it to Panzik. Hunter Panzik down the alley. Panzik gets it back to X. One more pass. It's with Aiken. Aiken. Recently switched his commit from Denver to Maryland. The future Terp has a shot go wide, but backup is there. Off the restart, here we go. An opportunity, the shot once again goes wide, but we got a flag down. So U.S. set to go on the man up. Flag's going to be, I believe, on Cole Begley. It will be on Begley. Begley, Drexel commit. 20 seconds to go. It's with Jewel. Jewel will get to Aiken. A little bit of time left on the man up. They get it to Jewel. Jewel steps in and Jewel shot denied by Zaborowski. And Team Ontario will just hold on to it. 
And not a high scoring affair in the first half, but a competitive game at the end of the first half. The score, USA 2, Ontario 1. We'll be right back after the break. Back here, second half action in Sparks, Maryland at Tierney Field at USA Lacrosse headquarters. We have arguably the best game of the day so far, the U.S. U18 men's team versus the Ontario U18 team. And the score, 2-1 to one USA at the end of the first half. It's been a very physical and competitive matchup, and the new goalie in between the pipes for the U.S. is Jimmy McCool. And I believe Ontario is going to start with possession because they were man down. They held on to it before the penalty expired. So no face off. They'll just start with it. And Team Ontario will go with a new goalie as well. It's going to be Cody Colson starting in the second half. Get it back to Colson. Colson being pressured. And it's Nate Kabiri on him. Kabiri giving him a chase, and here comes Colson. Colson's got it. Colson not being pressured, really. He underhands it backwards, and Team Ontario will use a timeout, so we get a timeout early on here in this second half. It, it's a good play. Colson had a full head of steam, but it's not, not the worst call. I mean, he, he was running up and down. You want to... I'm going to give him a break. But the first half, very low in goal scoring, but a very competitive game. So we see the first goal of the game came from Brody Coleman. It put the U.S. up 1 0. Second goal of the game came from Mark Chang, putting the U.S. up 2 0. And that was probably midway through the first half. And then the final goal of the second half came from William McLeod. Makes it a one goal game. It was the opportunity at the end of the first half and the save for Zborowski that led to there being no face off to start the second half. It's now 14.26 remaining on the clock in this one. It's gonna start with Jackman. Jackman looking to attack. Jackman will lose it. It's going the other way. And McCool gets rid of it and clears it. So the U.S. is up and now, and they're looking to try and extend their lead. And we'll start in the cross of Tristan Jewell. Jewell will dish it off to Aiken. Aiken dodging down the alley. Aiken shooting. Aiken shot is blocked before it gets there. Aiken gets the rebounder at eight, and Aiken scores. Aiken makes it three to one. And it seems like Aiken might be a little hurt, but it doesn't matter because Aiken scores. Another look at it. Aiken, his shot blocked and it hits Mason Blacktop. And Aiken was able to get it on the rebound and score. And trainers are tending to Blacktop. I think it might have hit him in the chest. And Aiken, he's, he's got a hard shot. So I'm sure that's going to knock the wind out of you for a second. Blacktop will step off. It's good to see he's walking off on his own power. He's, he's just holding his chest, so it, it definitely that's where he took the shot. Now a two-goal lead. USA, you see Aiken coming up, just checking in on Blacktop, making sure he's all good. And we should be about ready to get back to action. 
Hopefully we'll see Blacktop back on the field. And the faceoff will be won by Greenspan. He'll dish it off, he'll get it back down low. Ball is with Mark Cheng. Cheng gets it up top. It's with Kempney. He gets it to Coleman. Coleman dodging, Coleman gets to the middle of the field. He sends the pass, cross over. The shot and the goal! Number 11, Colin Rovier with the goal, puts USA up four to one. The high point commit cashes in right there. So he had the defender on him. He was able to somehow get that shot off and score. He puts the U.S. up three. And a faceoff going to be won by Greenspan. Greenspan coming down. He dishes off. Can't hold on to it right there is Kabiri, but it's remained with the U.S. This is Kempney. Kempney getting it to Coleman. Coleman already has one in this one. Coleman down the alley. He's attacking. He feeds in an opportunity, and there's the goal. Cameron Conley scores. And he puts the U.S. up 5-1. to one. Cameron Conley was a late addition to the roster, and he scores a big one right there to put the U.S. up 5-1. to one. So He throws a couple fakes and then beats Colson Lowe. Now it's going to be Matthew Baracco at the X, and Baracco going to pinch and pop and win that one. He'll dish it off to Panzik. It's with Cheng. He'll get it back low. Now it's with Kabiri. It's with Kempney again. Bell Walker has it. He's dodging. He feeds it back to X, pass a little too low. It's taken away. Team Ontario trying to get rid of it and get it over and get it clear. Try and get some offense going. They have just that one goal. They now trail by four. It's with Palmer. Palmer gets it to Dudamain. Dodge by Collison. Collison feeds to Palmer. Palmer's pass inside, but no one was there. Poked free, someone's got it. McCool coming out. It's free. Back to Dudamain. Pass up top. Here comes a dodge from Palmer. Palmer bouncing off his defender. Comes down, Collison shoots, and his shot goes wide. The backup by Russo keeps possession here with Ontario. Russo has it. He's attacking the middle. Russo going in, and Russo scores! And one! Goal counts, and the man up should be coming here. For Ontario, as they make it a three-goal game. Russo comes in and takes a monster hit from Seaman. It's going to be an illegal body hit. So Ontario, there's going to be no face-off. They'll get possession. And it's going to start with Dudamain. Three-goal game. Back to Dudamain. To Collison. 
One more. This is with Russo. Callison. To Palmer, and there's the goal. Gregory Palmer with his first of the game, and it's now a two goal game. And the penalty right there might come back to bite Team USA as Collison is able to draw the defender and get Palmer to let that one fly. So it's now 5-3, a little under nine minutes to go. And Team Canada, excuse me, Team Ontario still has the advantage. And here comes Crowley on the break. He loses a handle of it. Trying to get rid of it. Here comes USA. They're looking to push. They flip it to Jewel. Tristan Jewel thinking about it. He had the pole wide open if he wanted to. Instead, they'll make the smart move and pull it out. And Aiken almost fell over, and Aiken's going to turn it over. And it's Brian Jackman. He's got a full head of steam. No. Oh, and they're going to pull it all the way back and say he was too quick of a restart. But Dudamain will start with it. Dudamain, the pass back. One more. The shot. And another goal. It's Russo again. His second of the game, and it's now a one-goal game. What a sequence of events. And it all started with Russo's first goal that led to a locked-in penalty. And now two straight goals for US for Ontario has made it a one goal game here. It's 5-4, a little over seven minutes left in this one. It's gonna be McCool. McCool coming over. McCool's got it himself. McCool, he's got a full head of steam. He's gonna dish it off. And Team USA. We'll take a timeout as well. And both these teams had their goalies sprinting all the way up the field. And Coach Steven Brooks made the executive decision to take the timeout right there. I mean, you, know, you got to understand it. As McCool was coming down, he threw a low, low pass, was corralled. But here, this is how everything got back into it as Ontario. It starts with the man up goal. That came from Palmer. And then the most recent Russo goal. That made it a one goal game. Two big goals after the costly penalty by Team USA has made it a one goal game. Team USA, I mentioned it in 2019. They went to this decision for the Brockton Cup to no longer be, it was almost like a selection process and they wanted to make it development teams. USA development teams, men's and women's versus back in 2019, it was just Canada, U19, men's and women's, uh, U18, U16 developmental teams. USA did not lose a single game back in 2019. They've won 18 games straight. Team USA has men's and women's without a loss. They've never lost since they've made the change to this style. And Team Ontario gave USA, a heck of a game yesterday, but they couldn't pull off the historic win. And try and see if they can do it today. Instead, the dodge down the alley and the shot goes wide by Cheng. But the US is back there for backup. It's gonna start with Conley on the restart. The pass. Rovier has it. 
He gets it up top. It's gonna be with Aiken. Aiken dodging. Aiken rolls back. Aiken dodges again. He shoots. His shot saved. Colson guessed low, and he went low. In the clear pass. And they're going to go out of bounds. So a turnover by Ontario on the clear. And the U.S. will get it on the restart. It's right here with Nate Kabiri. Kabiri coming. He rolls back. Kabiri. Dodging topside, and his shot will ring off the pipe. But a late hit and some jawing right there after the play. So the U.S. going on the man up. So Begley, unsportsmanlike conduct. So a couple penalties right there and a big opportunity for Team USA to add to their lead. The officials now talking over, making sure they get the calls right. Kabiri had an opportunity right there, and his shot just ringed off the crossbar. And Kabiri will start with it. The Georgetown commit, five-star junior, number nine ranked player in his class. He had four goals yesterday versus the Haudenosaunee. He's got zero so far today in this one. Just gonna be one man down. Here is Kabiri. Kabiri dishes it back to Conley. Kabiri to Coleman. Aiken. And the check right there knocks it out of Cheng's stick. Ball's free. And now a T-twig right there by Crowley. Crowley looking to push transition. Crowley gets it back. And it's gonna be with I believe that's Matthew Collison. Collison has played with a pole. He scored two goals in their last game. He's picked up a pole right there on that man down sequence. Here we go, they're attacking the cage now. An opportunity, the shot by Dudamain blocked. That will get into the stick of McCool. McCool will clear it. Here comes the USA. They're pushing transition. The pass back to Aiken, Aiken. Fakes the shot. He spins back out. They get it back. Still on the man up. It's with Kabiri. Kabiri. He gets it to Coleman. To Aiken. To Coleman. Back to Aiken up top. Just trying to draw someone. It's now back at X with Conley. Beery has it. Back at X with Conley. Conley attacking. His shot denied. Three minutes to go. Colson throws a deep clear pass. And it's going to be with Jackman. Jackman looking. Jackman pushing. And the backhanded twister and tight in the goal. 5-5. Five, five. Count it. And one. What a goal! Alex Russo with his third of the game! Oh my goodness! Incredible goal! He gets pushed with the backhanded twisting shot. Scores to tie us at five. And look at the smile on his face. I mentioned it, 18 straight wins. USA never lost ever in this event. 
Team Ontario has him on the ropes right now. The face off will be won by Greenspan. It's going to be five on five lacrosse. Now it's going to be. If Ontario might have a little bit of an advantage right here. Conley has it. Conley gets it to Kabiri. Kabiri, he's being pressured. And Collison still has the pull. And Bell Walker will get it. It's with. Good go, the rollback. Jewel has it. Jewel rolling back again. Jewel shooting, his shot goes wide. And the race to the end line will be won by Team USA and Kabiri. So we're all even. It's going to be with Bell Walker right here. Walker. Dishes it off to Kempney. Kempney. The five-star prospect will be headed to Syracuse. He's just holding it, 40 seconds to go. And he's got the shorty on him. He's being covered. Lead by Collison. Yeah, I've been told that if the game is tied, there will be overtime. So it's on. USA settling for the last shot. And they're going to let Kempney take it. Kempney looking to attack. Kempney has a step. Kempney gets his defender on the ground, doesn't take the shot. Time winding down. Eight seconds. Seven. Pass goes low, and that will trickle away. Four, three, two, one, and let's get some more lacrosse. And everybody's favorite words in any sport, it's sudden death overtime. So first goal wins it. Team Ontario came all the way back from being down five to one. They score the last four goals of the game in force overtime now. Kempney had an opportunity to win it in regulation. He had his defender on the ground. Just didn't decide to pull the shot. And so now next goal wins. Here's a look at the tying goal by Russo, it was so pretty. He lost his helmet in the process and it was his hat trick goal. So the face off here, it's gonna be Baracko versus Zavitz. Baracko Scored the winner in regulation yesterday to give USA the win. He'll win it backwards. Ground ball will be scooped up by Jewel. Jewel has it. Jewel dodging. Jewel has the defender turn. Jewel right down the middle, and Jewel's shot goes wide. But they will get the backup, and it will remain with USA. And it's going to start with Kabiri. Kabiri. Hands it, Kabiri attacking, Kabiri rolls back, Kabiri shoots, is shot denied, the BTB for the winner, oh my goodness, the BTB for the win by Colin Campbell, keeps the undefeated streak alive for Team USA, as they win 6-5, to five. oh my goodness, you can't write a better script than that one. A replay right here. Kabiri takes the shot. He's denied. And Campbell didn't go for the easy one. He went with the BTB for the winner. And Team USA is winners in this one, 6-5. to five. What an incredible game.
Well, we got plenty more lacrosse to go. We will step aside for a short break and we'll be back for the next game, which will be U18 women versus the U18 Ontario women team as well. We'll be back right after the break.